You're listening to KJAC Radio, KLJX LP Flagstaff. How is it going, everyone out there in Radio Land? It is a beautiful Saturday afternoon up here at 7,000 feet. I am Colin Barnes here with Jason Seacrest and Kyle O'Quinn of Portugal the Man. How's it going, guys? We're doing great. Stoked to be here. Sweet. All right, so um, you guys have a uh, show tonight up here at NAU uh, at the Orpheum. Uh, You guys excited for that? Yeah, we're super excited. Sweet. Do you guys have you guys done a lot of college shows? Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, many. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> awesome. Oh, yeah. Uh, do you what do you prefer, like a college show or like a big like concert venue? Uh, well, the best thing with the college shows that people like they're not buying a ticket usually out of their pocket. It's yeah, because it's usually a college show, so mm-hmm. everybody's in a better mood because they didn't have to buy a ticket. Yeah, so they just there to have a good time. Yeah, they're, everybody's there to have a good time, and it's like usually like during finals or something where it's like, you know, they place it at a time where people just need a break for a second. Yeah. so it feels. Like we, so yeah. you, can you feel the difference in the chemistry? Oh yeah, with that, that crowd. Most, yeah, most definitely. Awesome. Uh, so, how long have each of you guys been with uh, Portugal the Man? I mean, off and on for basically forever. Yeah, like yeah. six or seven years. Awesome. How'd you guys all get together? We were all like touring in like 2005, and um, just a bunch of different bands, and we were always on the same label. Like that's how I met them. Okay. They were, they were we all toured together and. It was all like a scratch your back, scratch mine. Like certain bands where, you know, you take your friend's band out on tour, they're smaller than you, and then you break up, and then you start new bands, and your friends bring your bands out. And it's like this big cycle of like, yeah. you know, like favors, and it's all like family. So like, there's been so many incarnations of all of us touring together over the years. Like, it was just like a fluid kind of mix and match thing. Very much so. All right, yeah. all right. Uh, what, what's, the f- what's your guys' favorite place you've performed at? If, mm. you, if you can pick one. That's tough too, but I mean, I usually I, I'm, I like the natural views. Okay, I'm, I'm big for that. All right. So there's a couple yeah. of venues that had really nice views. Um, well, we had a really good show in Portugal. Like actually, like, okay, like, it was really really awesome. Nice, um, like an out, outdoor kind of thing. Yeah, it was like beautiful outdoor, just wow. like small festival kind of up in these hills. It was like really really beautiful. And um, in South Africa, we played a show in Cape Town that was like that's like beautiful kind of like garden that overlooked it kind of reminds you like san francisco or something when you just like see like the bay and the and like you know the giant mountain top and it was just gorgeous yeah that sounds amazing and they have to be a good show otherwise you're like this place sucks Uh, yeah yeah uh what what's your guys' favorite album you've worked on Mm, that's tough too i mean you got a little bit of love in each one of them so you know don't you think yeah, I mean, mm. on, honestly, I think our newest album's our best album. I'm not sure it was the most fun to make because okay. we recorded, like, 40 songs. <laughs> but, um, Evil Friends was a fun album to make. So was Church Mouth. Church Mouth was, like, always, like, a standard that was, like, super, super fun. It's like, we have, like, the exact same lineup now that was on that 2007 record. Okay. So I feel like that was, like, one of the most just, like, rock, just, like, rock and roll. Like, that nice. was, like, a super vibe. So, so how does that work? You mentioned you guys recorded a lot more songs than made it on the album. So how does that process go from recording to picking what actually makes it? So, so that's when you, like, make an album, like, uh, like, you know, as you start to get, you're just, like, writing a couple songs, you know, and then say you get, like, five. You're like, okay, we start to have an idea of where we're going. And then you start to be, like, when you get track six or seven and you're, like, what does this need to be an album? You know, you got to make sure you have all like the right vibes rounded out. So then you kind of just like start reorganizing things, and it's super weird. But every time you add one song, it changes all the other ones before. So we kind of just like mess around and yeah. listen, and certain things work. And just kind of see what fits. Yeah, take it away and make it cohesive. We like to name records before we record them. So okay. We would be like, hey, this record's going to be called Satanic Satanist before it's recorded, or same thing with you know Woodstock and stuff. Interesting. Like, cool. All right, well, I am uh, Colin here with uh, Portugal the Man. We're going to play a couple of their songs real quick, and we'll be right back with you guys. Hey, man, I'm cool to lean on, but I'm not your property. See, I'm crushing down these problems, starting pain with poverty. I'm just trying to catch a free ride. Temple to the tomb
Welcome back, everybody. You're listening to KJAC Radio, 107.1 FM Flagstaff. Uh, be sure to follow us on all of our social media uh, for updates about things going on at the station and shows we're doing. Uh, I'm here right now with Jason and Kyle from Portugal the Man. Uh, we're having a little interview for you guys. Um, and yeah, we're just going to keep it going here. Um, when, for each of you guys, uh, did you first pick up an instrument and start playing? Mm. You know... With the dr- <laughs> with my story on the drums, it was kind of sort of like pencils and pens on the desk and books and record tops. And then, you know, if you get some drumsticks, start playing on your pillows. Okay. <laughs> and then just play along to your favorite CDs and stuff. But, you know, I didn't really take the instrument seriously until I was like 18 years old. Okay. It, just, it was just something. I was just like busy doing other crap. Understandable. Like, yeah. <laughs> I dove in. <laughs> 
Also, drums aren't easy to like have. <laughs> just play. They're not. No, I know. You can't be like. And I mean, it's weird to be. You know, some kids get lucky, but it's like you know, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, I mean, you know. Yeah. Who's gonna be banging away at a drum set? Exactly. Like, like in your living room. Stu- you know, like studying <laughs> it. Yeah, it's tough. I tried to play in piano when I was like seven, maybe. Okay. I was like total band nerd kid. I played like French horn and trumpet. Sweet. And <laughs> but <laughs> piano's <laughs> piano's the one that stuck. Yeah, and I learned how to read bass clef music, so nobody could. So I ended up playing bass for the jazz band, the jazz choir, which was Sweet. I really I really like bass guitar a lot. Um, so we we were talking off air a little bit about uh, some different things. Uh, who is the uh, coolest, I'd say, or most interesting celebrity that you guys have met? You know. <sighs> Two people come to mind that really affect me. Like Weird Al Yankovic. Uh-huh. Like, I don't ever meet anybody. And like, can I take a picture or something? And we did a we did a thing with him for Bonnaroo a couple years ago. And we, we played Canadian Idiot with him, and he played So American with us. Oh, sweet. And we were like in a practice room, and it was just us. Yeah. And I was like, hey, Al, man. Is there any way you could just grab a picture? <laughs> it's like, I learned about music. Like, I didn't even know the original songs existed. I thought... I just learned about music from awesome. him in a really s- special way that he was a big deal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I don't, I don't know. It's kind of a blur for me. I, you know. Okay. <laughs> sure. But you know, I got a, f- a couple of favorite musicians and stuff. But you know, what's cool to me might not be cool to you guys out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So uh, obviously, your guys' biggest hit lately has been "Feel It Still." Uh, hit top 10 in 18 different countries. Uh, you guys won a Grammy for it. How, how does it feel to have a song get that, that much popularity that quick, double platinum? How, how does it, what, what, what were the emotions you felt when you found out? Super cool. Yeah? <laughs> and as, it gets weird. It's cool. Um, a lot of people are like, oh, wow, that's it. Like, boom. Like, you guys done. That's, mm-hmm. it's like, actually, not really. Like, people just found out who we are for the first time. You yeah. know, like, big picture, like, we would walk around thinking everybody knows who our band is. Yeah. They still wouldn't even know until you're like, what by who? Like, until you hum the song. So mm-hmm. I feel like we're in an opportunity right now where people are coming out to shows for the first time, and it's, like, a chance to, like, win them over. And show them and your other they, stuff. If yeah. they don't like it, like, they're not going to come back. I've never gone to a bad show. I've been like, you know what? I'm going to give that band <laughs> another chance with my time and money because yeah. I have so much free time and money. You know, <laughs> it's like, so, like, we're in a situation where we got this attention and, like, this opportunity, but... We don't want to, you know, yeah. you're kind of in the spotlight, so you don't want to blow it. Otherwise, I don't expect people to. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's been a year. It's been a whole year since its release. Yeah. It's totally a trip to me. And, uh, yeah, we've been working very hard to support the song as well and, you know, be out there and play it. But, yeah, it's, it's passed quickly in, in a way. It's, it's, it's weird. It's fast and then short. But... You know, the song's been good to us for sure, and yeah. it's fun and easy to play. That's the good news for me. <laughs> yeah, <it's> yeah. <laughs> I, I definitely caught on to you guys back with uh, censored colors. Oh, cool. Um, and then kind of, kind of fell off. And then uh, when Field still came back on, I re-listened to everything. And I know a bunch of people up here that did the same thing. They heard your hit and then went back and listened. Totally. So I, I definitely think you guys are in an amazing position right now, where you had a great song kind of revitalize you guys. Um, Awesome. Well, I did make a mistake earlier. Uh, the show tonight is at Proc Now on campus at NAU. Uh, it's at 8 o'clock. Doors open at 7. You can go onto the Sun Entertainment's Facebook page and find the link there to buy tickets. Um, I believe there is a student discount, uh, and they said they are slowly uh, running out of tickets. There's not a bunch left, so be sure to go hit that if you are interested. Um, I have another question for you guys. Kind of a, a, a little little generic, but do you guys have any specifically funny stories from being on tour? Like anything, I mean, anything that comes I, to mind. Every day ends up being some kind of laugh, <laughs> laughing stock of nonsense. But, <laughs> I mean, it's more like, yeah, who, who, who gets the laugh? Who gets to be laughed at today? And Yeah, like... You know, who falls over? Who, my cousin came last night. He's like, oh, it's like... Not too crazy here tonight. Like, we were just in Vegas last night. Mm -hmm. I was like, well, a couple shows ago, we had a tattoo station here, and people were getting hung upside down and fed drinks upside down (laughs) while getting tattooed before the show. Nice. (laughs) Good way to to start it off. (laughs) What what is the, um, so not necessarily your favorite venue, which we did, but what's, what's been your favorite city to visit and kind of get to know, get to experience? 
I love I love California. Can I say that? Like, I'll yeah. give you a state. <laughs> north or south? Honestly, I'm leaning more north, but... Good. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, I like the Bay a lot. Bay area. Yeah. I could go state. Uh, I'll say I like Colorado. Yeah. I like playing Red Rocks a lot. I like, I got family there. They got mountains. Yeah. They got legal weed. I like <laughs> all of those things. Awesome. Good chat. All right, I got one last question for you guys. Um... What we have a lot of uh, small college bands up here that play our shows. Uh, what what's uh, some tips that you could give to help them kind of take the next steps out of just being a college band to try to try to reach out more? Mainly touring. Yeah. Yeah, that's the best thing you could probably do. Is just hop in a van and go on tour. Just, I mean, yeah, like make sure you have your equipment. Make sure everyone's got their gear ready to go and uh, kind of branch out. And, you know, try to hit up some real close cities, even if it's a, a slight pain in the butt to, you know, drive there and back. Things like that. They'll get you comfortable with, you know, yeah. kind of... It's kind of eye-opener. Gigs, gigs that are away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if you're... If you make... If you only book so, like, shows, like, so rare, you know, you kind of set yourself up for this anxiety and, like, nonsense. It's best to just kind of start crushing shows. Awesome. Go to town. Yeah. Play house parties and stuff. That's how you get good as a band. It's playing 300 shows a year. and It's like, you know, obviously you have to like own your first city. You know, like, I, I would do that with Seattle. Where my, first you got to do well in your city, then you then you leave. And uh, same in Portland. And the first time you leave, you drive 50 miles in any direction. And if you can get one or two people at your show, <laughs> you should be stoked. Like, it's such a... And then two turns into four, or four turns into eight. And then eventually you can get 300 people at your show if you play, like, you know. 500 of them. <laughs> awesome. Great. All right. And then you, where did you guys say you're heading next after uh, NAU? Uh, Coachella. Yeah. Awesome. Well, be sure to check them out there if you guys are going. Uh, do you guys have anything else you guys want to add? You guys excited for tonight? Yeah. You guys you, got a really nice campus. It's yeah. Thank you. It's, pretty, it's a yeah. pretty day. So enjoy the day and then come hang and party with us. Awesome. Yeah. So uh, like I said, again, the show is tonight at 8, doors at 7. Get your tickets online at Sun uh, Entertainment's Facebook page. Uh, and yeah, I hope everyone has a great day and we'll uh, catch you guys on the next time.